My name is Susan Campbell and I'm a distinguished lecturer at the University of New Haven in West Haven, Connecticut. I'm also a practicing journalist. I uh, came out of journalism, uh, the Watergate era. I, like so many people, sat and watched the Watergate hearings and where other people were thinking, I want to grow up and be a lawyer. I was thinking, I want to grow up and be a journalist and topple a presidency. That was the kind of power I thought I could get next to. I did not topple a presidency, but I've had great fun looking at presidencies and other things up close. I want to talk a little bit about the importance of journalism. It doesn't take a journalism professor to see that the industry has changed immeasurably. We are corporate owned. There's such a conglomeration of five or six companies that own 90 plus percent of the media outlets in the country. And so there's been a drawing back in higher education, unfortunately, for teaching journalism or for putting resources into journalism programs, and that's an absolute huge mistake. We will always need people who can assimilate facts, figure out what the facts are, and assimilate those facts and present them in such a way that the average American resident can figure out what's going on. We always need people who can edu educate, entertain, and enlighten people. Um, and that's where journalism comes in. It's different from other kinds of writing in that it's fact-based. Um, and what I wish we were teaching students pretty much from the moment they start consuming media is media literacy so that they can come to consume the news and understand where it's coming from, vet sources, and draw their own conclusions as to what's accurate and fair. We are awash in information. When I was coming through school, I was told we were in an information age. We are also in a misinformation age made easier um, to spread with social media. What I wish would happen was that people would learn how to consume media and that schools would focus very much on teaching people how to present facts um, because without facts we have nothing.